Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim. Tonight's video is going to feature how I create the grocery list. So you're going to see the categories that I consider when it's time to go grocery shopping, how I decide what we're going to buy, and then of course the meal plan that goes with it. There's going to be a refrigerator and a freezer tour. And then today my husband and I are going out shopping. So next Sunday's video will show you that grocery list. Um, our budget is going to be $880 for a 45 day period of time. That includes all of our groceries, all of our fuel, all of our household, and all of our cat. So next week I will show you that grocery list. I will tell you how much I spent out of the $880, and then we'll do a shopping haul or some shopping hauls. So thanks for joining me here tonight. I hope you're all well, and I'll see you back here again next Sunday night. Okay, we're gearing up to do our October shop. We were going to initially do two months, October and November together, but that would require us having to come up with $1,200 because our budget each month is $600. And the more I thought about, the more, you know, as far as space, we don't, we have an apartment-sized refrigerator, apartment-sized uh, freezer. You know, we just don't have a lot of space. And so uh, it would be really hard to do that, um, both financially and to make sure that the food that we bring home we have room to uh, keep care of. So um, what we did in the last 33 days was we were extremely conservative with the way that we ate. Uh, we tried to, uh, you know, uh, just watch our serving size, watch our calorie count and stuff like that, buy foods or supplement with foods that were a little bit more affordable. Uh, like eggs, as far as we're concerned, that's, you know, a fairly affordable food, you know, uh, have an omelet or have French toast or scrambled eggs or an egg sandwich and stuff like that versus, you know, uh, coming, you know, taking open a package of meat that's eight or nine dollars and maybe only getting one meal from it. Just every little thought that we could think of to be very conservative. You know, if we bought snacks, any type of snacks a month before, we tried to limit it to just have that snack, you know, once or twice a week versus, you know, three or four times a week. As far as uh, any type of, uh, you know, uh, soda and stuff like that, I allot myself a can of 7-Up about every other day. So every other day it was. And so on and so forth. E eating the crust of breads. Um, just using, you know, half of a, a serving of margarine or butter. Not baking as much, uh, but making sure that the we have baked goods so we don't have to buy store-bought goods. Uh, making more... Um, Homemade pizzas uh, from flour, uh, the, the crust from flour versus buying anything that's pre-made um, and versus buying a store-bought pizza. Stretching the, uh, the spaghetti sauce, adding water to the jar, and you can get one more uh, spaghetti meal or one more uh, um, meatball uh, sub out of it, stuff like that. Just everything that you can think of that you can stretch something, and we did. Uh, I will show you in the refrigerator what we're looking at. So. Then when I show you the uh, grocery list or how I'm planning the menu and grocery list, it'll kind of make sense. So right now we're looking at potatoes and I'm saying, do we have enough, you know, for the next four to six weeks? Yes, we do. We probably only eat one potato if we average it out one potato a week. We usually eat rice and um, noodles or we skip it all together, skip that starch all together. We have apples left. I've made homemade applesauce now that will last us at least three months. So those are just eating apples with some lemons to make more preserved lemons because that's working out really well. We have lettuce at least for the next probably seven days. I just bought that, you know, within the last week, and it was in really great shape. My husband's got some pre-made up yogurts in that. Uh, he used to get seven out of a container, and this last 33 days we squeezed eight. So there we have it. I'm making two homemade pizzas up, so I've got some mozzarella cheese and pepperoni there. It might even work out to be three. I don't know if I mentioned the ground beef. That's ground beef we bought in June, and that's it for us. So that's going to make some ham uh, pre-made hamburger patties, some meatballs for spaghetti and meatballs, and then maybe some sloppy joes or something like that for my husband on the weekend. Six eggs are left. I think I started with 18, and still after 33 days, we have six of those left. We always use country crock. I apologize, it's dark. We don't have a light in this refrigerator. Uh, we use country crock. We usually go through one of those tubs every two months, so we're good there. We have some uh, block of mozzarella cheese to use up there. We'll probably just use that as a snack instead of buying any type of chips. 
My husband got the baby bell, a big bag of baby bell at work. He is uh, just celebrated 25 years of employment at the same place. We've got a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of half and half, a little bit of milk. I've even got some uh, yogurts left, three of them it looks like. I bought 10 a month ago, uh, September 3rd or 4th, and I've still got three of them left because that's how far out the dates were. Still some Nelly beets, still some preserved lemons, some sliced cheese for um, grilled cheese sandwiches. I'm making up homemade tomato soup this weekend. I just finished making up homemade chicken noodle soup. So either one of those soups with grilled cheese uh, sandwiches, some mayonnaise in there. As far as the door, same old, same old. Like I said, I do drink 7-Up. My husband doesn't like the ranch dressing from Aldi. We've got some baking sticks that I've had there for a while to make cookies with and some bottled water. Um, we probably buy a case of water like every three or four months and we just keep reusing the plastic. I hate buying the bottled water and I hate buying plastic, but right now Berkey isn't making the filters and we can't afford another type of uh, water filter. We do have a couple of smaller pitchers that are water filters, but we did really prefer Berkey and uh, no filters being made right now. So um, that is what our refrigerator looks like before shopping. Normally we would go through these chicken tenders, but like I said, we were conservative, so we did not eat any chicken tenders in the last 33 days, so we have everything that we need for at least a 44-45 day period of time. We also only ate one salmon. We split it, one uh, filet of salmon. We just split it down the middle, and we're probably going to do that from here on out because that's very expensive, hard to find. So we still have one of those left, so we only need to pick up one. Still has some of this shredded cheese and everything else that's in this refrigerator except for a loaf of bread here and a French bread there is um, processed vegetables. So we have the zucchini down in there and the squash down in there and the green beans and all the tomatoes. I'm making tomato soup this weekend. I'm also making pasta sauce this weekend. So all of that stuff is down in there. I'll still have tomatoes left over for other things. Um, we have, what did I say, I said zucchini shreds, zucchini, sweet corn, corn on the cob, green beans, tomatoes, uh, garlic scapes, and squash, and homemade applesauce. So that's what's in this freezer, quite a ways from the top. There's just a few things that we're going to get there. Here is the last three pound package of ground beef that we have. We bought that back in June. This is it. Once we, uh, I make up some meatballs with this and um, hamburger patties. That's going to be it for the ground beef that we have in the household. So we're going to need to pick up at least one package of that. Okay, one thing that I've been doing for quite a while now is just having these little lists or slips of paper inside cupboards and that showing the inventory that's in the cupboard and what we kind of go through in a 30-day period of time. So like we have a cupboard above the sink that has rice mixes, it has bulk rice, and it has cans of soup. So with that I, we have uh, we go through four cans of soup a month if we don't have homemade around. We go through probably one box of um, rice mix, and we go through probably two cups of bulk rice a month. So in 30 days' time, I need to make sure when I look up there for grocery shopping that we have what we go through with uh, for bulk rice, for mixed rice, and for cans of soup. And if we don't, well, whatever we don't have goes down on the grocery list. So in our freezer connected to our refrigerator, I do keep a list as well as what's in there instead of showing you guys a bunch of uh, plastic bags. So what's in there right now is a hamburger patty. So my husband has that if he wants to have a hamburger patty and home fries. We have some leftover casserole, one serving of that. We have strawberries, blueberries, and bananas for smoothies, probably enough for a dozen smoothies. We have some lunch meat, so eight weeks worth of lunch meat. We bought a large container of that at Sam's here. Uh, I think I showed it in one of my last hauls. 20 homemade cookies, 12 homemade muffins, 2 homemade loaves of bread, and 6 homemade croissants. So that's what's up in that freezer. That gives us kind of an idea if we want to pull something out for a dessert, pull something out for company. My husband takes the homemade banana muffins to work with them. If we're low on bread or the store is low on bread or all they have is the kind of bread that we don't buy, we've got a couple of homemade uh, loaves of bread back there and I'm going to be making you know uh, homemade bread on a regular basis. It's always good to have uh, smoothie stuff. Um, if you have leftover bananas, though, I hear now that that's probably uh, going to be a shortage here soon. So kind of sad about that because I love my bananas. But we do have some frozen ones for smoothies that we need to get through. We definitely need to get through some of the strawberries. And I've also got enough strawberries left for some homemade jam. So 
My husband went from having two hamburger patties. We were terribly, I think I mentioned it before, conservative in the last 33 days, and now he just wants one hamburger patty and home fries for a meal uh, weekly or bi-weekly or whatever. So we, like I said, we have one of these for this, for the refrigerator, for the pantry items, for cupboards that we would have food in so that we know where we're at, how much we use in a 30-day period of time, where we're at when it's time to go shopping, and what we need to buy for the next 30-day uh, period of time. So I think these are kind of good ideas just to have an idea of what you got on instead of, you know, digging away in the freezer and, and not knowing what's there, and then things get freezer burnt and forgotten. So this works great for us. Okay, as I've said in previous videos, with every grocery shop, is a meal plan, is an idea of what type of meals that we want to eat. We try to focus on whole foods, homemade as much as possible, as least processed as possible. Um, you know, I'm like, and so is my husband, like anyone else, we want to be healthy, we want to live healthy, and we want to do it for uh, the least amount that we can while still, you know, benefiting uh, health-wise for it and saving money in the pocketbook. So. Um, the first thing that I do, well, when I wanted to do the two months, uh, that was all well and good, except we just don't have two $600 amounts, $1,200, to spend all at one time, and we don't have the room. I think I mentioned that before. So what we try to do then is try to construct a plan B, and I have a plan B and plan C for everything. It does take time. It does take doing. It does take experience. Um, I've basically been this way my whole life. My life has been this way my whole life. Uh, since I left home at 16 and a half, and I don't think it'll ever stop. I'm just always creating uh, backup plans because I've been there where I absolutely had no backup plan, nowhere to go, nothing to do, no money, no food, and so on. So I don't want that to happen and don't want that to happen, especially at this age, if I can help it. So uh, the big shop, the one big shop isn't going to work, but what we did here in the last 33 days is just much more conservative in our eating habits uh, our spending habits, our eating habits, and um, we were able to save where we have some food still in stock that we wouldn't otherwise in any other 30-day period of time. So that means having to buy less food, less food when we go shopping here in the next couple of days. So my goal, though, was to have one big shop. We still may try to do something that gets close to that. And then my other goal was the rest of the shops be local to save the wear and tear in our car, not have to go out in winter and winter snow or winter cold. Um, reduce spending. Spend less than we actually have budgeted. That's really a big goal. It should be number one, but I didn't list them in any order of importance. And then less chances to impulse or overbuy. We don't do any online shopping unless we've put items in an Amazon cart that we absolutely need. Uh, I usually do Christmas for friends, co-workers, family, and husband at the beginning of the year. If we get any money back on taxes at all, usually we don't get much, but if we do, um, for things that they may ask for or wish for or hint for that are more trendy that wouldn't be available till Christmas time, I usually leave those for stocking stuffers. Usually people kind of know how we do things. So if they have something trendy they want, uh, we have pretty big stockings and <laughs> we can Santa Claus comes and he will give it to them in their stocking usually they ask for things that will actually fit in the stocking so then they not only get the things that um, they wanted and needed but they also get the trendy items closer to Christmas and we save money by having it all done before the middle of the year so as I construct that grocery list I go down meals breakfast well for breakfast we eat eggs sausage bread orange juice, butter, yogurt, and milk. How, you know, for eggs and that, in a 30-day period of time, we're going to need 36 eggs. If we don't have 36 eggs, we have to buy 36. If we have less, or if we have like a dozen eggs on, then we only need to buy 24 eggs. Sausage, we generally, in a two-month period of time or a six-week period of time, have sausage every week. So we're going to need to have, you know, four to six uh, packages of sausage, and that is I buy a large package of sausage. Well, it isn't really large. It has like 14 sausages in it, and I break it down into packages of two sausage per package. So that's how I do that to stretch that. Bread, I'm making homemade bread, orange juice. My husband goes through, um, I think it's like 16 ounces a work week. Butter, we generally go through a pound of butter a week. Yogurt, I'm cutting back on that. 
um, and we're still looking for a raw milk source, but we generally uh, have a half a cup of that a day each. So one cup of yogurt a day and milk. I don't drink milk. My husband drinks a lactose-free milk, and he only drinks it on the weekend. Work lunch, do we have the lunch meat? Do we have applesauce? I don't use the homemade applesauce for his lunch. He doesn't actually like homemade applesauce. We do buy uh, cabbages, and I make him up some coleslaw. I do make homemade banana muffins, and then he has to have, he doesn't actually have to, have to but he likes to have a candy bar, chocolate bar from Aldi. Lunches, when we have on the weekend, I don't eat any lunch, so I not only don't have a work lunch, I don't have a lunch lunch. So we buy store-bought pizzas for him once in a while, a TV dinner, like he likes beef stroganoff, and he actually likes the TV dinner better than mine. Uh, sometimes we'll have barbecue sloppy joe, something like that. On the lunches then, if we're going to have that kind of food, like barbecue, sloppy joes, pulled pork, then we're going to need buns. I do know how to make homemade buns, but I often buy store-bought. And then any leftovers that I put, if I make a casserole on that, we have each have a serving of it. We may each have a serving of it the following night, and then anything else that's left over goes in the leftover uh, container, and he eats that on the weekend. And dinners, I construct my menu plan, and then I construct a grocery list. So spaghetti, we make sure we have noodles. I have homemade sauce being made this weekend. Otherwise, we have to buy jarred sauce. Um, salad, we always make sure that we have lettuce, tomatoes. We get that from those from Farmer Laura. I get some for spaghetti sauce, some for pizza sauce, and some for eating. And I also buy Roma in the wintertime in the grocery store. Potatoes, we don't go through a whole lot of potatoes, so I usually buy a five-pound bag, and it lasts three or four months. Carrots, we get those from Farmer Laura, and when she stops selling them to us, we buy them at Walmart or Aldi, whoever has the cheapest. Bread again for supper meal, uh, whether it's grilled cheese or whatever, is homemade bread now going into fall, winter. Homemade soup will be done. I'll have homemade tomato soup, homemade chicken noodle soup. Pizzas, they'll be homemade. I'll make the crust. Uh, the sauce will be made this weekend. Then we have to buy the pepperoni and the cheese. If we don't have any on hand, then I have to go buy a package of pepperoni and a block of mozzarella cheese. We usually eat pork once a month, so if I buy a, a package that has had, uh, has eight um, chunks or pieces of pork chop in it, we have three per meal. I have one, my husband has two. So a package with eight in it, that would be three meals. I just don't get any the next meal, and that's fine. I accommodate myself with other things. Rice, uh, we have that at supper meal, so we, either, uh, we usually buy it in bulk. Uh, we don't go through a whole lot of that either, or a boxed mix. Squash, we have plenty of that in the freezer, plenty of homemade applesauce. Again, I'll be making homemade bread. We buy roast chickens. We have one every Sunday. If they get too expensive, we have one every other Sunday. I do a meal of home fries and chicken tenders or home fries and hamburger patties. For my husband, I do eat the chicken tenders with lettuce, so... Um, we generally have one of those a week if they get too expensive. And by too expensive, I mean, you know, past the $7.15 a package for the chicken tenders. Um, we go ahead and just have them every other week. Much better than going out and buying them in a restaurant for $20 for an order of four. Uh, salmon, we have that not only for a main in our meal, but I also uh, will use the leftovers for salad. Peppers, we've got plenty of those. I grew them this summer. Corn, plenty of that in the freezer. Zucchini, plenty of that in the freezer. Sweet potatoes, so we usually use the peppers and the corn, the zucchini and the sweet potatoes and anything else we have for a roasted meal. So we just have roasted vegetables, no meat at all at that meal. We look around for our cat. We make sure he has 93 cans of wet. Whatever he doesn't have up to that is what we have to buy at 88 cents a can or 10.56 for 12. He goes through 10 pounds of litter, give or take. A month, we have three litter boxes because he is a 17-year-old senior, So, uh, and that works terrific. So if you have a cat, they're getting older, or if you've noticed that they're just kind of confused or whatever, with or without being older, obviously first take them to the doctor, but secondly, they just may need more litter boxes. So um, this has worked terrific for our confused cat. Okay, I think I mentioned in a previous video that we spend about $60 a month on fuel for our car. I don't think that in the entire time that we've owned it, even when gas prices were high, 
um, that we have ever spent more than $62, $65 in fuel a month. So we feel happy about that, uh, despite the fact that she's cost a lot of money in, in uh, repairs. To keep her together on the road, she's lasted almost 18 years, and she hasn't cost us a fortune in gasoline. So we're going to miss that when we get a new automobile. So, yeah, we can generally stretch it uh, to every two weeks we put in $30. Uh, of course, you can't do that no matter what car you have if you have to go to work out of town. My husband works in town. I work remote, and the places that we travel are only a couple of times a month, and they're only an hour away from home. We also look at monthly household things, items. You know, are we going to need toilet paper? Do we need Comet, vinegar, or laundry soap? All those things we use every day of every month, and so um, we need to make sure that we have those for a 30-day supply. Same with pantry. We've got to check the peanut butter. Uh, I make homemade jam. I buy all of my uh, baking ingredients or most of my baking ingredients and condiments from Thrive Market. I usually put in a $49 a month grocery uh, haul with them, and then I get shipping free. Cereal. My husband does like to eat cereal on the weekends, so we make sure he has cereal. He generally buys that for $4.50 a box when it's on sale. Oats for cooking or oatmeal and always have beans. I always have bush baked beans in the back room. I love them. Snacks, beef sticks, also purchased from Thrive. And then I make homemade cookies every month or two months, except for in the summertime. Homemade bars for company or church things. Homemade trail mix for walks and stuff like that in nature. And my husband likes the peanut packs from Sam's. Beverages, when it's uh, cold out, we like to have tea and coffee and cocoa. So I've got to buy some cocoa for the hot cocoa before it uh, might come up as a shortage. And I have an occasional 7-Up, and we buy bottled water about every three to four months. Even though we do have water filters and a Berkey right now, we can't buy Berkey filters. And so they were supposed to last for about a year, and I think we're pushing three years because they stopped, uh, purchase, or stopped producing them here a couple of years ago. So uh, now we're shopping around for a new water filter. Uh, you know, a big, not just the ones you put in the refrigerator, but a great big countertop one because we go through a lot of water in a day, drinking water um, and stuff. So there's a lot of um, bleach in our tap water, so we also need it for our cat. Miscellaneous, uh, you never know. I just put as an example, uh, we, you, my husband may say, I need shoelaces or we may need carpet shampoo or a box of Kleenex or whatever. You just never know. So that's kind of how... Uh, we go through. It is time consuming. There's just no doubt that it is time consuming. But we're just not going to, you know, we never have gone willy nilly to the grocery store, just load up a cart of everything, you know. I uh, always keep track, not only with the inventory lists, but I know myself, you know, as far as the finances we have, just how much we have to spend. And every dime counts. Sometimes emergencies, like I've mentioned before, come up that surpass our emergency fund. Uh, there's no one or no place that we could turn to. We're going to have to come up with that money ourselves. And by cutting every corner, you know, it's gotten to be over the years a challenge and, and one that's actually at times can be entertaining or even fun when you look towards it like that. How much can I save? How much cash can I come home with? You know, how much can I buy? Um, you know, can I try a different brand or, or whatever, whatever you can come up with to save money? And we've done all of that. So, um, yeah. Provide yourself with a goal of why you want, you know, do you want to do monthly shopping? You know, for us, it just works out better. Less time in the store, less time away from our cat, less time away from home. Uh, we don't do, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, we don't do any type of online shopping. Um, but occasionally we do need something from Amazon. We do buy gifts for uh, people online. Um, but other than that, no. Uh, we did recently have Walmart deliver groceries for us. I thought that was just wonderful. So that might be something to look forward to in the future. It wasn't with their Walmart Plus or whatever it was. They just gave me an opportunity because I do a lot of surveys for them. Also another way to make money. Um, in my case, they don't give you money. They give you points. But, um, yeah, uh, they just offered to deliver the groceries for us, and there was no charge. So I don't know what next time would be like, but I guess, you know, we're going to give it a shot one of these days. So, you know, we just go down the categories. What we what do we eat for breakfast? What do we have for work lunches? What do we have for weekend lunches? What's the meal plan? My meal plan is generally the same fall and winter. We like to have real hearty meals, soups, stews, meat, potato, and vegetables, uh, meatless meals, 
What does our pet need every 30 days? Our car, our household, what is an absolute need? Once a year, sometimes twice a year, we go out and buy all of our paper products and our household products. At the same time, we also spend one more day shopping and we buy all of our shampoo, our body washes, our bar soaps, everything you can think of that you would personally need, makeup, uh, hair dye, you name it, is, is uh, purchased at that time. That's also a separate uh, savings account. We have a savings account for a new car, a savings account for a down payment for a house, savings account for household purchases, a savings account for uh, toiletry and clothing purchases. So um, I like buying my clothes secondhand. I just think it's, it's uh, uh, I'm just one of those people that I find it quite challenging to go into a Goodwill or a thrift shop and find clothes, you know, that uh, I remember wearing it one time or that are in really good condition that you can't find anymore online or in the store. So my husband likes brand new clothes, so we've always got to have some sort of a budget for that. So this is what I'm going to go down, and then I will create a grocery list, and I'll see how much that grocery list is going to come up, see if being conservative for 30, these past 33 days helps us, how many days uh, can I get through, how much money will I save, um, that's what we're looking at to see if maybe there's an in-between that we can work with instead of every two months, maybe just every six weeks uh, or buy bulk food for six weeks and then just do fill-in shops for the other, you know, uh, two or four or two or three weeks that are left over, you know. How can, how can I arrange it so that we can uh, keep to our goals of being in stores less, buying less, having less impulsive items in front of our faces, conserving what we're eating but still being happy and fulfilled, less wear and tear in the car, less time away from home, and still get everything accomplished. So, And I will definitely make videos and keep everybody up to date on how I do it and how it's done and what it looks like.